everybody, Kirk Jung here from LearningGolf.tv. Today taking a look at Bryson DeChambeau's golf swing from the face on and following. You'll see also the down the line analysis. And I'm going to tell you uh, why I think it's a great idea to try to swing like Bryson uh, to an extent that you need to fit it to your own style and body. Uh, but I think there's some great things that he's doing here and it's obviously very unique. Uh, you do not need special golf clubs. Bryson plays same length golf clubs from Cobra, uh, but I've successfully teach this swing to a lot of people with normal golf clubs. In fact, 90% uh, to 95% of my customers who come to my schools and lessons uh, have conventional golf clubs and it's actually no issue. Uh, I think it is a good idea uh, and it's very helpful for some people, uh, but it's certainly not a must. And setting up as Bryson does, does make it easier to hit conventional golf clubs as well, as long as they fit you uh, for all the factors, lie angle, and so on. Uh, face on, a couple important things here, and I'm gonna go through this real quick. And you can learn this on my website as well, and I'll talk about a couple things you can customize, including the grip. But you can see it's set up, as the hands press forward uh, into the impact position, so they're starting with the forward shaft lean, and he's going to return to that position then as well, so this is very helpful for a lot of people to simplify the golf swing. You see it looks like the ball's a little bit back in his stance here. Uh, that may be a little bit camera angle. Uh, it's always hard to tell exactly here, uh, or he's trying to flight the ball a little bit lower, something with this swing that's fairly easy to do. You see as Bryson takes the club back, how nicely his head stays in position, and he employs what's basically known as a zero shift swing. Uh, so there's no really noticeable shift of the weight. He's just turning around his spine beautifully. And you can see uh, getting to the top, very little wrist cock here, and that's because he has the club diagonally through the palm of his leading hand, and that limits wrist cocking. He does get a big uh, body turn. You can see his upper body uh, almost turned 90 degrees here, and that's a pretty good turn. Uh, could be a little bit more when you look at him hitting a driver. Uh, but you see here a little bit of downward, down cocking, what we would call. So the angle increased a little bit as he starts the downswing. And you can see uh, less angle here. People make a big deal about this, that there's less. But again, that's limited by his grip. And he has such a strong body motion uh, that it doesn't seem to play a factor in his distance either. As you can see coming in, you can see his hands leading through impact, so it's definitely not an early release as some people claim. You can see how the hands are leading going through. If we draw a vertical line, you can see it's in front of the ball. And at impact, you'll see he's back in the position roughly where he started. You can see it's slightly shifted forward, uh, but again, this is giving him that downward strike on the ball. Notice his head. If we're looking at how stable and quiet his head is, uh, it, it's fantastic here that he's really staying in position, uh, basically this position he started. So he's set up for impact, which is the same as I teach and I customize that uh, depending on your needs. If you're older uh, and you can't turn as much, it's no big deal. Uh, we'll put you in a grip that allows you for a little bit more leverage than Bryson uses uh, so that you can get full advantage and have as much distance as possible because distance is obviously very important in today's game. But the basic concept set up for impact, and that's what Bryson does. He sets up for the impact position, as you'll see in a moment in the down the line view. And for more information, visit learninggolf.tv. And there's a Bryson section on the website that details his swing, or customizing it for your setup for impact swing uh, to, to fit to you uh, and each individual. So here you see Bryson playing the Dell Championship this week. Uh, it's Labor Day weekend, and he's one off the lead going into the final round. And you'll see here in the setup that what's unusual with Bryson is he has the club basically on the same plane as his right forearm. And this is what I teach in my setup for impact golf swing as well. So we looked first from the face on view from here, and you saw how the club was in alignment with his leading left arm and uh, how important that is. And so that he had the forward shaft lean at impact. But to me, the most important factor here is he's setting up on his impact plane. And this is what I teach in my schools and learning program. 
and you can learn it all on learninggolf.tv. But if you look here and watch the swing, it's just, it's really a beautiful, simple thing and it's totally misunderstood. People think that Bryson, what he's doing is with the golf clubs is the most important part. But to me, it's clearly the golf swing uh, that he repeats so easily because he's set up basically on his impact plane. Look at the club go back perfectly on plane. You can see uh, it, it's absolutely perfect. At the top, he's slightly above plane here, but again, that's probably camera angle. And you can see it coming right back down very close to on plane here. You can see the shaft blur right in here. Hands perfectly on plane. And you can see it impact. If you're gonna draw the plane, it's almost perfectly on his setup plane. So this is as close as it's gonna get. You can see also that his spine angle is absolutely in the same position it was at setup. Uh, so the swing is a lot easier on the back. Uh, than those who are losing spine angle. Most people have the hips moving in closer to the ball as the upper body's pulling away. And Bryson doesn't do that. You can see perfectly on plane here as well. And you'll see the club. If you can see the blur of the club, it's right in here now. But he's going back up the plane on the other side. And you see where the club, again, it's right there, right on exiting perfectly on plane in this shot. And again, camera angle distorts these things a little bit uh, when you look at top of swing. And so if the camera is not on the plane, as it very rarely is, it distorts it slightly. And so if you look at a lot of different swings, you'll see how close Bryson really is. And I have a lot of other videos on YouTube comparing him uh, to the other uh, tour players. And obviously I'm not saying anybody's not a great ball striker if you look at them, but if you look at the consistency of what Bryson has done this year, you can see that he has an advantage, I think, over the other players and that week to week, uh, he's almost always in the hunt. You can see the top players are way up here normally in the back swing and at the top of swing and then the club comes down something like this and the impact plane is usually much steeper uh, than set up and then the club exits somewhere up in here as well. So uh, Bryson is on the same plane back and through. It's easier, and I've taught this to people over a 20-year period with great success. And my goal is to get people hitting the ball better as quickly as possible. And I do that in my schools and private lessons. And you have the learning program on the website available on DVD, digital downloads, uh, and a learning program that allows you also to submit your own videos of your swing for my review. It's very inexpensive as well. So please check it out, uh, swing like Bryson, customize it to fit you however, and I think you're gonna be happy playing the game of golf and much more consistent, and you should gain distance and have more fun playing golf, that's the goal. No need for new clubs, new grips, or so on. That's something that can be added. It's certainly something, uh, if you're in the market for new golf clubs, something to think about with same length, but it's not mandatory for playing the golf swing. Let me know if there's any questions or comments and have a great day. Thank you very much.